Hello, this is Cody and welcome to the channel. Today I am out here at one of Phoenix's very best 55 plus communities. This is in the West Valley and this is going to be Victory at Verado. This is such an amazing community. They have great amenities in here, some really great homes, and it's just really well put together. So in this video, I am going to walk you through everything about this community, give you a tour of all of the amenities and some of the homes, and just give you a really good idea for what it is like out here. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Here is the entrance into Victory at Verado. So when you drive into this community, you're greeted with just beautiful mountain views. Victory is not a super central community. So you can see here on the map, it is in the Southwest Valley. You're very close to freeway and highway access to get anywhere in the valley that you need, but it is definitely definitely not a super central location. The main benefit of Victory at Verado and its location is one, the freeway, so you can get anywhere in the valley very quickly, but two, Victory has great grocery stores, restaurants, entertainment options, all kinds of things out here within the community. So you can drive your golf cart down the street five minutes to the grocery store or to a restaurant or things like that. So that is a really great option that other communities in Buckeye, such as maybe Sun City Festival, they don't offer um, grocery stores or anything like that, whereas Victory does have all of those amenities that you could need. Now, this is the drive up to the community clubhouse. This community in Victory has one community center. It is a very large community center. It is 35,000 square feet, and it has everything that you can need. You have a spa up here. You have a really big workout room. You have, of course, your pools, which we'll get to in a minute all kinds of tennis and pickleball courts, and then your common areas, of course, but then this area that we're walking into, this is their restaurant. This is called the Vic Bar and Grill. This is a really great restaurant. They actually have great food. You can eat out on the patio, you can eat inside, they have a bar, and it's just really a great place to bring your guests or to go to yourself. You can drive your golf cart up here, and it just offers really spectacular views because this community center is actually perched up on a little hill out here. So you have great views of the Phoenix Valley and the White Tank Mountains surrounding it. This building over there is where they do their art classes. So they'll do art classes in there overlooking the Phoenix Valley. It's really a beautiful setting. They do lawn yoga on this lawn that I'm walking up here. And it's just really, this is, this is probably my favorite community center out of all of them, mainly because of these gorgeous views. I mean, you can see the golf course down there. It's just really a spectacular spot for a community center. I mean, every time I come here, I am just blown away with the views. My wife and I love to come out here, sit on the Vic patio, and have dinner. It's just really such a great place. Real quick, I just wanted to stop and let you know that I do offer a free 55 plus community guide. The guide goes through all the different communities and gives you a really good idea of what the communities are like. I know there are so many different options in Phoenix, so this will really help you be able to narrow it down and start your research. I also have a spreadsheet that goes over all the different fees and the amenities that the communities offer, and it's just really a great resource point, and it is completely free to you. So just send me an email and I'll send that right over to you. Now let's get back into the video. Over here on the back side of the community center is going to be where their tennis, pickleball courts, and their pool is located. You have amazing views from there as well, and I could not get into the centers at the time their representative was not there, but here is a picture of what the pools look like. They have three standard pools back there, and then they have their lap pool outdoors as well. One of those back buildings is their really large gym. Um, they have a great facilities here. I mean, they're very large and they have everything that you could need and they're very upscale. Like I mentioned, this is a 35,000 square foot community center. And the HOA fees in Victory are $236 per month. 
Half of that is towards the Victory amenities, and then half of that actually goes towards the Verado amenities, which is the, the small town that Victory is located in. So you can actually use the Verado Community Center as well as the Victory Community Centers. You can see these walkways and hiking paths that they have. They have over 25 miles of, of walking and hiking paths and biking paths within the Victory community alone. So they have some mountain hiking trails and they also have some that are more urban and going through just the community areas that are fairly easy. In this community, there is also a capital improvement fee. This is going to be a one-time fee that you only pay when you buy a home in this community. So it goes off percentage, and on a $500,000 house in this community, the capital improvement fee would be about $2,900. And again, that is only one time, and that goes towards improving the community and just building up their stockpile. So you can see what it's kind of like driving through these different homes in here. They actually have multiple builders in here, so a lot of the homes are going to be very different styled. They're not all cookie cutter and the very same. And what Victory and Verado in general is very proud of is their parks. So you can see here, it is a smaller park, but they have this in every section of the neighborhood. So no matter where you live within a neighborhood, you're going to be really close to one of these really pretty and peaceful parks just like this one here. Now, the home prices in this community are not outrageously high, but I would certainly not call it a very budget-friendly community. Homes in this community are newer, it is a very luxurious location and very desirable. So they were built anywhere from 2015 until today. They are still building brand new homes in here today. Prices for townhomes start at about $380,000, and for a single-family home, you're going to be starting at about $490,000. And the homes in here go all the way up to about $1.2 million for the super luxurious high-end homes with great views. So driving in, this is the city of the town of Verado. It's not actually a city, so um, it can be a little confusing. And let me explain. So these com this community is located in Buckeye. This is the city of Buckeye, and Verado is a subdivision, and that's what we're in now. So Verado is a master planned subdivision in here. You can see it's very unique styling. It has a very small town feel, and it is a very desirable location. Everyone who goes to Verado absolutely loves it. The prices are a little bit higher out here because of this reason. So we just drove through the Main Street area and that is where they have a lot of their small family-owned restaurants and some of their grocery stores and things like that and it's just really a great feeling, very walkable, tons of trees everywhere, everyone's out and about walking around and this is about a five minute golf cart ride from the Victory neighborhood and this is one of the main attractions of the Victory community is this little small town feeling. Thank you for watching my video on Victory at Verado. This is such a great community and I hope I was able to give you a really good feel for what it is like in here and give you some really good information. If you have any questions, I am a local realtor and I do a ton of work in these 55 plus communities. So don't hesitate to reach out anytime. You can also send me an email or give me a text or phone call and I can send you my free 55 plus community guide as well as my spreadsheet. Just send me an email like I said and I'll send that right over to you. Other than that, I'll see you guys at the next one. Thank you for watching watching.